Hello everyone, my name is Michael and today my presentation is on John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. The learning outcomes then for today, um, it is hoped that each of you will develop a brief understanding of the plot and the primary characters, that you will become aware of the context in which the text was written, and that you will recognise and evaluate the teaching methods that will be used in the teaching of this text to a junior cycle group. Moving on to my rationale then, as we all know, Junior Cycle English aims to develop students' knowledge of language and literature and to consolidate and deepen their literacy skills and make them more self-aware as learners. Through a comprehensive analysis and discussion of this text, along with a variety of teaching methods and student activities, students can build on all three strands of Junior Cycle English as they will develop their oral reading and writing skills. This short, sparsely narrated piece of fiction overlays 1930s social history with a portrait of the human condition. A novelist driven by social consciousness from his own experiences, Steinbeck offers the reader a colourful rendering of a bleak period in US history when migrant labourers struggled to survive through the Great Depression years. Of Mice and Men brings to life the plight of these uprooted and often desperate men. At the same time, the work presents a story of love and tragedy, realistic to any era. The most basic moral question raised by the novel, whether George did the right thing in killing Lenny, is developmentally appropriate for junior cycle students. Steinbeck offers a message meaningful to adolescents, both male and female, three quarters of a century later, exposing students to different literary techniques and a number of universal themes that can be read in any culture and time. The text comprises of only six chapters and its themes are considered relevant to 21st century society. Another draw of the novel is, that is, that is its accessibility to students across a, a range of academic abilities. It also provides excellent opportunities to discuss a number of literary terms such as characterization, irony, symbolism, plot, conflict, theme, etc. In addition to literary devices, the novel contains several subjects worth discussing, for example, the Great Depression, racism, sexism, sin and vice, good versus evil. Of Mice and Men is influenced by John Steinbeck's own experiences of working on the ranches in the Salinas Valley in California. Steinbeck was born in Stalinas in 1902 into a wealthy family, but his interest was in the lives of the labourers who worked on the farms around California. Steinbeck wrote a number of novels about poor people who worked on the land and dreamed of a better life, including Of Mice and Men and The Grapes of Wrath. Of Mice and Men was Steinbeck's first big success as a writer. Not only did the book sell extremely well, it was turned into a Broadway play and a movie, which provided Steinbeck and his family with financial security at the time. The title of the book is somewhat interesting. It was originally called Something That Happened, but Steinbeck decided on the title of A Mice and Men, which is a phrase from a poem called To a Mouse, published in 1785 by Scottish poet Robert Burns. The full line in the poem is The best laid schemes o' mice and men gang af the glee. This roughly translates to No matter how well we may plan the future, things often go wrong. And the link to the novel will become apparent as the reader progresses through the text. Steinbeck quite simply demonstrates that through no fault of a single person, other lives are affected by particular events they have no control over. And this becomes evident throughout the text. It is very important to understand the social, cultural and historical context of the text. The Great Depression was an economic slump occurring at the time in North America, Europe and other industrialized areas of the world that began in 1929 and lasted approximately 10 years, and it was the longest and most severe depression ever experienced by the industrial world. It caused the death of the American dream, which is the idea that everyone in the United States has the chance to achieve success and prosperity. It is the social ideal set out in the American Declaration of Independence, which states that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain rights, that among these are life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. And during this time known as the Great Depression, the American dream had all but died. Poverty, starvation and massive unemployment meant that the dream was unattainable. And things were even worse for marginalised members of society, such as African Americans, women, people like George who suffered from intellectual disabilities. They were segregated from society. And we see this as the text progresses through Crooks, the African American stable hand who was segregated to his own room, and as I said, Lenny, and also Candy due to his age and weakness. So I'm just going to do a very quick uh, overview of the plot. Um, as I said already, it's set in the Salinas Valley in California, which is a region that became 
the setting for much of Steinbeck's fiction, and the story centres around the two principal characters, George Milton and Lenny Small. Um, they are an unlikely pair. George is small and quick and dark of face, while Lenny is a man of tremendous size and has a mind of a young child. Yet both men have developed a very strong and unique relationship, clinging together in the face of loneliness and alienation. Both men are labourers, moving from ranch to ranch in search of work, while also escaping from a troubled past that Lenny unintentionally creates. They hustle work when they can, living a hand-to-mouth existence. But both men have a dream. They dream of having a small farm with animals and crops, with each having their own roles on the farm. The dream c- keeps George and Lenny going through the hard times and is a source of comfort and hope for them, with the dream of living off the fat of the land. And as the plot unfolds, the reader learns the background story of these two very different men and in the end we witness George taking Lenny's life out of mercy as if he can no longer protect him. Just a couple more points there on the text. This genre is a fiction tragedy. The story is told from the point of view of a third person omniscient narrator who can access the point of view of any character as required by the narrative. As you can see there there's a number of characters, the boss, Curly's wife, Curly, Candy etc. Many themes prevalent in the novel, loneliness, friendship, marginalisation, freedom and confinement, along with man and the natural world, to name a few. Steinbach also offers a number of symbols, most notably the clearing in the woods, which is at the start and end of the book. Also George and Lenny's farm, Lenny's puppy, Lenny's mice, and also Candy's dog. And also Steinbach uses a number of literary techniques, metaphors, personification, poetic descriptions, imagery, and also animal imagery is quite prevalent in the text along with literary conflict, um, for example, they are man versus man, man versus self, and man versus society. In teaching the text, then students will obviously do a close reading analysis of the text, and they will explore the relationship between the different characters. There's also a number of active and creative methods, teaching methods that can be used effectively, for example, response journals. These can account uh, the students' responses throughout the novel. Spoiler diagrams can be also be used, which can chart relationships, for example, or themes, using props. The Late Late Show is a good one to interview certain characters, plot summary, character diary. This is especially good for minor characters as it can give a sli- slightly different perspective. So for example, Curly or Crooks, they can rank the characters in terms of status and power. The students can design alternative scenes and dialogues which will encourage them to become the writers. Hot seating can also be used, comparing it to other texts on the syllabus or on the prescribed text lists that they have studied. Bingo is also a good one. Students can give out quotations from characters and students have to guess the character uh, who made the point. Uh, group presentations, which is also tied into their key skills of working with others. And also storyboards. Students can design their own storyboards, something like this. All of which can actively uh, engage students with the text. In relation to key skills, then students will work on all six key skills for junior cycle, most notably working with others as they will develop relationships, they'll be cooperating with each other, learning together in group work, etc. Communicating is also a major one there. Students will be using language, both orally and written, along with reading, listening, expressing themselves in class discussions. ICT will also come into play as students will be interpreting information in the form of ICT from PowerPoints. Uh, they will also be uploading blog entries um, in relation to the characters in the text. Literacy will also come into play as is English, there'll be new terminology, different terms, etc. and techniques. And numeracy will come into play where appropriate, for example, analysing a piece of the text. While assigning this text is also a number of cross-curricular links, most notably in history and CSP, especially in relation to the context of the novel uh, when we talk about the Great Depression and the American Dream, and also geography uh, in relation to the agricultural landscape of the Salinas Valley. And all of these links can be discussed further throughout lessons with students. Back to the learning outcomes then, I hope you all have achieved all three of the outcomes and thanks very much for listening.